Good afternoon, class. Today we're going to be doing an introduction to parliamentary procedure. So as a class, we are going to plan a party. I will give you two minutes to write down any ideas you have for the party. Up on the board are things to consider. Who to invite, when are we going to have it, where are we going to have pizza, anything. So get your pencils ready, set, go. Okay, stop. Now, all at one time, all together, the count of three, you're going to shout any ideas that you have. Ready? One, two, three, go. School. Yeah, I said the school Okay, okay, okay. So, does anyone know exactly what we're going to do at this party? No. No, why? Because you didn't explain to us. You said to give you ideas. Right, but you guys all said them at the same time, right? Yeah. So you like, you, like she couldn't hear her ideas, right? right? That is where parliamentary procedure comes in. That's where parliamentary procedure could have fixed that big muffle of mess. So what in the world is Parley Pro? By the dictionary definition, it is a set of rules that defines how a particular situation is to be handled or a particular outcome achieved in a legislature or deliberate body. Pretty much it guarantees everyone to give their opinion or their ideas on a topic. And it's where the majority rules and minority rights generally comes from. So, writing motion. Uh, who can give me an idea, raise their hand, like of what to do at this party? Look. Uh, set up tables and get a count of everybody that's going. Okay, yeah, that's good, like an RSVP, right? So instead of just shouting it out, you would stand, obviously, but you would write it, I move that. I move we, I move they. You would put that before your idea. So, yours would be, I move that, we get a head count of people instead of tables and chairs. Uh, does someone else want to try their idea with the I move that? I move that we play games That's perfect. Another example could be I move that our chapter advisor bring karaoke machine to the party. Because karaoke machine is cool. Now, here's the big question why? Why did all these ideas that you guys shouted out, why are they important? And are they necessary, yes or no? Um, Ashley. Yes, because you want like other people's opinions for things. Well, like, yeah, like his is important because... We need the space. Yeah, exactly. So that's where your debate comes in. Your debate gives every person the right, their voice and opinion, like the voice, their point of view, on a topic. So like, Logan's idea is vital because we need tables and chairs for people to sit at at the party. For every motion, everyone gets two debates per motion. Usually a debate starts with vote for this because or vote against this because. So, did someone want to try debate on Logan's motion? Uh, Alex. I'd say you vote 
against this motion because we don't know where it's at. So if we table to turn money now, we have to Good. That's a good debate. Ashley. Vote for this because we need to know how many people are going to be at the party so that we can plan for this. Yeah, that's great. So before we actually get into the like set of motions, there are some like Carly Pro etiquette that we need to learn. Please, 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 please sit away from the table. Okay. So when you make a motion or when you debate, you need to stand, right? Pardon me. So if I were sitting here waiting and oh, I want to make a motion, you know, and I go, hey. I better stand up so I can make this motion. I just move the entire table. And that makes a really loud noise in the middle of everything. So part of like sit away from the table, you want to like sit on the edge of your chair and make sure you can see your knees at least. So when you stand up, you're not hitting anything. You guys might be crowded, but why don't we all try that? Don't forget to sit on the like edge of your chair. If you sit on the back and you go like this, your chair could go like flying. Now, stand up, one, two, three. Perfect. Except those guys in the middle, but that just has a really cramped. Address the chair with the appropriate name. Obviously, if it's a boy, it's going to be Mr. But if it's a girl, it's going to be Madam. Why not Mrs? Why not Miss? Because you don't know if she's married, so it can't be a Mrs. And you don't know if it's a Miss or if it's a Ms. So Madam is like the general name. Don't shout! Don't do it. it we can hear you. <laughs> and then speak clearly and slowly. So like going like this really, really fast, you're not going to understand, right? So but if you speak clearly and slowly, the chairperson will be able to understand your motion. Now, steps to a motion. Address the chair with the appropriate name, madam or missus. Once you're called on, you'll stand and make your motion, which is, you know, your guys' ideas on the paper. After your motion is stated, someone will randomly say a second. If the second is not said, it fails, which isn't good. Then the chair offers any debate, and that's when you guys will all debate, and then when there's no more debate, the chair will call for a vote. Then the members will vote, and the chair announces if it passes or fails. So there's before we do those steps, because we're going to stand here and make motions. It's great. There's three types of voting. There's majority, which is a voice or countable vote, and it passes or fails by over, like you take the half of people, and if it's one over half for pass, then it passes, and vice versa for fail. General consent, that's when everyone agrees and there's no vote needed. And two-thirds, which is like any counting vote. And it only passes if two-thirds of the amount of people there are there. So we're going to go back. I'm going to put these steps back up for you guys. I will act as the chairperson. So why don't we try running through some of your guys' like, ideas, saying the proper, proper things that I've taught you. The floor is now open. You guys, that's when you guys will stand. Uh, Haley. I move that we hold the party at the big jail. Second. It's been moved to second that we hold the party at the big jail. Is there any debate? Yeah, Haley. Well, what's this motion because the big jail should have enough room for everybody to come? Alexis. Disagree with this motion because the big gym may not be available at this time. Madam President. Logan. We could set up signs around the school that say the big gym isn't in use. Is there any more debate? Seeing none, we'll proceed to vote. All in favor of this motion, please say aye. 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 All opposed say no. 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 Motion passes. Now, when I say motion passes, this whole cycle repeats again. So that's when you guys would like jump up out of your chairs and be like, "You, Madam President, kick me." Uh, Jaylen. Um, Madam President, I 
wasn't it? I think that we should have had pizza at the party. So instead of saying, I think, say, I move, we have pizza. I move that we have pizza at the party. So that's good. good. Don't, ever, don't ever think it because you're like, I want pizza, we're going to have pizza. You know what I mean? So who decided that we have pizza at the party? Is there any debate? Jalen. So why is this a good option? Um, vote for this because? I vote for this because pizza tastes awesome and we should have pizza. Awesome. That's a big deal. Ashley. Vote for this because we need something to eat and to be able to do it for the day. It's very easy to get. Madam President. Alex. Okay, so for this motion, because it's pizza really easy and affordable, and everybody knows. Is there any more debate? Seeing none, we shall proceed to vote. All in favor that we have pizza the party, please say aye. 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 All opposed say no. Motion passes. Congrats. So, is there any more questions on the steps of a motion that I can answer? No? Pretty simple-ish? All right, well, that's it for today's lesson. I hope you guys really enjoyed it.